All right, start of a new week. Although most folks do have the day off today, Stephen, let's talk about the weather situation. It got gradually better as the weekend went on. Yeah, yesterday wasn't so bad. It was a little bit windy, but overall sunny yeah. and it was comfy out there. And similar for today, the winds will be a little bit less of a factor today. Uh, but we're looking at some sunshine and temperatures topping out in the low 60s. So not too bad. This is the capital city, of course. So we're quiet, we're dry, no rainfall, no fog out there. We have, to be, we have some nice dry air in place. And uh, you can see here as we go forward, um, let's see what's going on with my clicker here. Looks like my clicker is not working. Oh, there we go. We got it to work. Let's see. This is New Bedford as well, looking at quiet conditions at, out here as well. Radar check the wide view shows some scattered showers moving offshore into the Gulf of Maine. Not going to bother us. They kind of clipped Nantucket and the Cape. Otherwise, we're looking at quiet conditions. Temperatures right now in the 40s. It's a chilly start across the area. 46 in Providence, same deal in Westerly. 45 in Smithfield and 46 out in New Bedford. Again, we'll be seeing these temperatures rise through the daytime hours to the low 60s. So still a cool day overall, uh, but not too bad, of course. Three key things, dry cool today. A couple showers for Tuesday, not really a big deal. Uh, just a little weak disturbance passing on through. And then a better chance of some more steadier, heavier rainfall, potentially just in time for the weekend. We'll talk about that in my seven day forecast. So here's the wide view one more time. Clouds offshore, some showers as well moving away from us. We're looking at some clear skies locally across southern New England. And again, that's going to be the theme for today as uh, we have some dry weather uh, ahead for us. So a lot of weak disturbances nearby. There's that one moving offshore that I just pointed out the showers. There's a few more up towards the Great Lakes region and another weak low pressure system down here across the Midwest. So notice the flow around this low pressure up here. This counterclockwise swirl is kind of just bringing these weak disturbances nearby. So what we're going to be seeing is is this next playmaker for Tuesday. A few light showers possible as this gets brought in towards southern New England for the day tomorrow. Again, not a big deal. It's just going to be a quick little passing shower or two for the first half of the day. Let's time things out today. Again, quiet weather looking at mostly sunny skies. Expected temperatures rising uh, through the 50s through this morning into the low 60s this, this afternoon. Again, quiet weather takes us right into tonight as well. A few passing showers really don't arrive until later on at night, and I'm thinking towards daybreak on Tuesday. So notice this is 5 a.m. Some extra clouds around, a few spots of green here from time to time. Again, those, those passing showers as they make their way through. And that'll be with us through the middle part of the day as well. This is now 8 a.m. Again, a few more passing showers with that. Notice how by the afternoon, 3 p.m., we see partly sunny skies and temperatures in the middle 60s. So again, it's not a big deal for Tuesday. Just that first half of the day could have a couple uh, passing showers for the day uh, in the morning hours. Now, as we go for this morning, chilly start. Temperatures in the 40s, dry conditions across our area near 60 by lunchtime. For the afternoon, again, not too bad. Low 60s will do it. And uh, you can see again, not many uh, uh, weather concerns coming our way across our area for this afternoon. Here's that seven day forecast for you. And you can see again, looking at tomorrow's forecast, just a few isolated showers. Uh, those are, you know, again, really light in nature, 30% chance of that. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're dry, looking at low to mid 60s. And uh, at, of course, you see the rain icon on Saturday and Sunday. We have more wet weather on the way for the weekend, it looks like, with a potential coastal storm nearby with uh, some rain steady at times and uh, even some gusty winds with that, of course. The timing of that will be nailed down in the coming days. Of course, get that full seven-day forecast, though, anytime on our website at WPRI.com.